As winter approaches, Canadians will be spending more and more time indoors. Health Canada recommends that Canadians test their homes for radon gas to protect themselves and their families from this indoor air health risk. Radon is a tasteless, odorless and colorless gas that escapes from the ground. It's formed by the natural breakdown of uranium in soil, rock and water. When diluted in outdoor air, it poses no health risk. However, Health Canada warns that when radon enters an enclosed space such as a home, it can accumulate to dangerously high levels. Exposure to radon has been associated with an increased risk of lung cancer and is the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. Dr. Jack Cornett, director at the Radiation Protection Bureau of Health Canada, says it's time for Canadians to add home radon testing to their family safety checklist. Almost all homes contain radon. The amount of radon in a home depends upon a number of factors. These include the geology of the rock around the home, the amount of soil around the home, the weather in the area, how well insulated and how tight your home is for air, and also key in importance is the foundation of the home. High concentrations of radon are often found in basements and so that's an especially important area to test as well as other areas where you have poor ventilation. Dr. Cornett says the only way to know if your home has high levels of radon is to test for it. We recommend that you test the lowest lived-in level of your home. Health Canada recommends that you test for at least a minimum of three months when you test for radon. Winter is the perfect time to test because it's indicative of the normal conditions in your home when your windows are closed and ventilation is typical of most times of the year. The good news, Dr. Cornett says, is that testing for high radon levels is easy and inexpensive. The most common test kits are called an alpha track system and an electret. Health Canada recommends the long-term tests and you should put these detectors in the lowest level of your home where they're easily accessible but won't be disturbed. After the test has been done for three months, you will send the detector back to the laboratory for analysis. Health Canada says that if test results are over 200 becquerels per cubic meter, then adjustments to your home are recommended. Ensuring that major entry routes in your home are closed off is one way to reduce radon levels. This could include covering exposed soil and crawl spaces and ensuring that foundation floor cracks are sealed. In the 2007 National Radon and Indoor Air Quality Survey, 62% of those surveyed said that they have never been concerned about their home's indoor air quality. Dr. Cornett says that this attitude needs to be reversed. Canadians take safety precautions every day. We wear seat belts, we test our homes for carbon monoxide and other dangerous substances, and we encourage all Canadians to test their homes for radon. For more information on radon and home testing, call 1-800-O-CANADA or visit healthcanada.gc.ca slash radon. Martin Vanderwood reporting.